Hey guys, and welcome to That Was History. I'm your host, Jeremy Payne. So today we have a story that actually made it possible for us to bring you sound when we were recording and not just all picture. So we all know the famous Thomas Edison and all his inventions that he came out with over his lifetime. Well, one of these great inventions was the phonograph, which would allow for sound to be recorded and played back. He would receive a patent on this on February 19th of 1878. As he'd already been working in telephony and telegraphy, this machine would be a spin off of those. He was trying at first to capture repeated telegraph messages as an indentation on a spool of paper and thought that if this could be done, then why couldn't it be done with a telephone? In the December 22nd issue of Scientific America, it was reported that Mr. Thomas A. Edison recently came into this office, placed a little machine on our desk, turned a crank, and the machine inquired as to our help, asked how we liked the phonograph, and informed us that it was very well, and bid us a cordial good night. From this invention by Edison, the inventor of the telephone would take it to the next level, changing the medium on which the sound would be recorded. The new medium that this phonograph would contain allowed for it to be much smaller, thus allowing things for the new generations such as phones and things of that nature. In the research, I realized why they actually called it cutting records back in the day. When they would finish recording on the medium, they would then have to cut the section of recording out, thus you had your record. When a record player spins around, all it basically would be doing is playing back the vibrations that were mechanically embossed on that medium. Well, that's gonna wrap up this episode of That Was History, guys. If you liked what you saw today or it intrigued you, please hit the like button below and also jump on over to Facebook and Twitter and our social media sites. And we'll see you next time, guys.